today we are here at Thorncrest Ford and I'm going to show you guys 20 plus interesting features on the 2023 Ford Bronco Sasquatch. Let's start off on the front end. You have toe strap hooks right here. So if you have like a canoe or something that's coming over that needs to be strapped down at the front, you have hooks to do it right here instead of bringing it all the way down to the front bumper. So I like how Ford has that built in right from the factory. You also have this massive gloss black grill with the white Bronco badge in the center. And you have these interesting circle with a line coming through, kind of like eyelid looking LED headlights. At the bottom of the bunker, you have rugged matte black plastic trim and two factory toe points at the front here case you need to be getting towed out of some of those uh, extremely deep mud trails that you're gonna be in with this thing. Now wrapped around these 17 inch alloy wheels are gonna be these beefy 315 wide all-terrain tires, which are definitely gonna help you when you're on the trails. The Outer Bank Sasquatch also gives you the painted mirror caps, which is a beautiful emerald green here. We also have a convertible top that's gonna come off a little bit later in the video, so make sure you guys stick around to that. And we also have these built-in side rails that'll help you either get up to the top or just help you when you're getting in. And when you're getting in, you also have frameless windows, not to mention these doors can be disconnected just like a Jeep. Along the side, you also have extremely good looking beefy fender flares that come out like four inches to help protect all that mud that's gonna be spinning up from all those all-terrain tires. Your gas cap at the back does have the easy fill. So all you have to do is open the port, push it in and it self closes behind it. From the factory, you get the beautiful matching fifth wheel spare wheel option here, full size spare. Through the center comes out for the rear view camera and your brake light is right above the tire. Opening it swings open from the side with a pretty deep cargo space. Ugh. Hey, if I can fit inside, then so can all your groceries. You also have a little bit of storage underneath as well as your roadside jack. I love how the Bronco badge is basically like the, the backwards Mustang. The Mustang's rearing up and the Bronco's kicking, which is pretty cool. And is it just me or are these rear taillights in the shape of a B? Now let's take a look at the back seats. Now this one does have the cloth interior, but you can upgrade to leather. But even this one is very nice. I actually like this cloth and it has this interesting blue stitching on a brown interior, which actually looks pretty good with all the other little blue highlights around the cockpit. As you can see guys, just, just enough legroom, but a ton of headroom, not to mention that this top does come off. So stick around for that. The back here, you have window switches as well as charging ports. So you can make sure everything's charged up as well as a 12 volt converter that's right there, power inverter. The back seats also come down, but click of a button just like that and they push forward and go completely flat. Did I mention that the rear doors come off too? Boom, so much cargo room when you have both the back seats down. Now coming into the driver's seat, you will notice that these seats are not powered. They are still manual, but kind of like that ruggedness because this is a rugged vehicle. Massive Bronco badge here in front of the airbag. You have the glove compartment as well and the holy shit handles. There's one here, there's one on the passenger side and the driver's has one too. So, I mean, you got the holy shit handlebars for when you're going on some steep inclines. I like how that blue stitching is on the front seats as well, on the holy shit handles and the air vents. So there's lots of blue little highlights everywhere. Now we've got a beautiful driver's cockpit, but it's a little hard to show from that angle. So I'm gonna hop behind the camera and show you guys everything you need to know in the driver's cockpit. So this is the holy shit handle you get on the other side. The blue in the vents. I like the Bronco steering wheel. You have the push button start down here. And one thing I like that all the climate control buttons are physical buttons. That opening Bronco display screen. But yeah, like I was saying, I like how all these are physical buttons instead of being pushed in the infotainment screen. Now we do have a very large infotainment screen, a digital display screen here on the side of the speedometer. But yeah, that climate control, heated seats, heated steering wheel are all there. We have the automatic transmission. I like how bulky that is with the Bronco logo there. It is assembled in the Michelin plant and they give you a plaque for that. And then right in front of that is the wireless device charging tray, as well as USB and USB-C charging ports. Coming back, you have two cup holders, you have the drive mode selection between drive modes and it goes into the gauge cluster and shows you the different modes here. Normal, eco, sport, slippery, mud and ruts, sand, and then that's it. And then back all the way over to normal mode. And then while you're going through those modes, the traction or the drivetrain will automatically change. So if we go into sport mode, 
it's going to put us into four auto but you can also click these buttons and click and tell it which you want the drive to be depending on the mode that you're in which is pretty cool that it does that automatically so you can have uh, two high four high four low and four automatic how cool is that it's the goat the go over any terrain options i love that your window control switches are in the center here as well as your mirrors and they don't put it on the door because the doors can be taken off so they're not gonna put any controls on the doors when they can be completely disconnected now but on the left side you do have your light switches there your electronic parking brake button and the steering wheel i like the ford bronco steering wheel with the nice bronco logo we got active stop and go cruise control on our left side with volume control and then more infotainment button so you can go through and edit the gauge cluster options in here which is pretty cool to see you can even go into some additional settings if you want in miles per hour neutral tow one thing i love with ford is Every time you shut off the car, it always prompts you to check your rear seats in case your kid or your dog is back there. I like how Ford's implementing that. I've seen that on the other Fords I was looking at too. And then you have this very large infotainment system. We have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which are wireless and standard. There's navigation, phone, audio. Oh. Then you can go into your settings. You can go through the settings on everything. We can go into vehicle settings. Lots of settings there. General settings. Clock, display. You can swipe to the right. Vehicle hotspot. Software updates. Ford Assist. Valet mode. Lots of settings that you can go through. Lots of ways to adjust this screen on the right here. You can put in what is that you want to see for whatever menu off-roading so that's pretty cool to see and you can just go up and down through them here that's pretty cool there's the glove compartment down here another ship bar opening this up lots of additional storage space down there 12 volt converter on the inside and this has a locking tab right there now as up at the top there's also a mount for a gopro right here more charging cables for USB-C and USB, and then as well as your rear differential locks. And this one locks the rear wheels in place so you can pivot the front end And if you're in a really tight space. So you can literally lock the brakes on the rear wheels so that the rear wheels will drag and you can pivot the front end with the steering wheel, which is just incredible. I love the trim finishing on this one. And then up here you have some lights, and sunglasses holder, garage door opener holder into the sun visor. And like I promised, it's time to take the roof off. You just disconnect this button. What did we do here? Let's figure this out. Pull that down, pull that down, and just push up. Oh, yeah, it's a little more than I can do with one hand. So we're gonna put the phone back on the tripod and we'll tackle the roof. That was actually really easy. Just pop it, push it back, and then you can go through and do more releases and you can take the whole thing off. I don't want it to go that far and I just wanted to check out the sunroof. Wow. It's a pretty cool option. We're gonna put it back now. Ugh. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys was the engine under the hood. Now, the Bronco does offer three engine options. This is the mid-tier one. So this is the 2.7 liter twin turbo V6, which is about 330 horsepower. Now, I know for most people, it doesn't look like much. For some gearheads like me, one thing I noticed is there's no big plastic cover showing you like on other cars. You just only have the components. And you can start to see the small little turbocharger down on that side. And the other turbocharger is a little harder to see. A little bit more plastic stuff on top of it. But I can just kind of see the edges down there. It's cool to see how everything's on the open with the Ford Bronco. No fancy covering, brocking anything. We have the air intake here, which runs down over here comes up and through these vents here. So that's cool to see that it's uh, kind of sealed off coming or running along that area right there.
All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys appreciate this video. Don't forget to come visit Thorncrest Ford in Toronto if you're looking to purchase a Bronco or any vehicle. I'm gonna leave Jim, the client advisor here, his email down in the description below. So make sure you reach out to him. Tell me you watch this video that you're interested in purchasing a Ford Bronco or any other Ford. Thank you guys so much. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.